in this video i will show you an example of clamper circuit with sinusoidal input draw the output waveform for the following clamper circuit with sinusoidal input consider the diode is made of silicon see i have a clamper circuit here this circuit contains a capacitor of 10 microfarad load resistor of 10 kilo ohm this is our diode and this diode is made of silicon and the diode branch contains a 5 volt bias voltage at the input terminal we are applying a sinusoidal input with positive peak 20 volt and negative peak minus 20 volt and i am taking the output across this terminal and this terminal the function of a clamper circuit is to shift the dc level of alternating voltage into a different level see as the diode is in upward direction therefore this clamper circuit will be a positive clamper circuit when we have a clamper circuit with sinusoidal input to solve this kind of circuit we will replace this sine wave with a square waveform with the same peak value as the sine wave if I replace this sine wave with a rectangular waveform or a square waveform with positive peak plus 20 and negative peak minus 20 our circuit will look like this see I have replaced the sine wave with a rectangular or a square wave with the same peak value after analyzing the output voltages I will regenerate the sine wave from the rectangular waveform therefore replacing the sine wave with rectangular waveform does not alter the wave shape in the output side okay now let me analyze the circuit to calculate the output voltage we will start our analysis with that half cycle of this input voltage which will drive this diode d forward bias during positive half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative therefore you will see the positive terminal of the input voltage is connected with, with the inside of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the p side of the diode which indicates that the positive half cycle will put the diode in reverse bias now consider the negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive the positive terminal of the input voltage will be connected with the P side of the diode and the negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the diode as positive terminal is connected with the P side and the negative terminal is connected with the N side I can say that during negative half cycle the diode will be in forward bias as this diode is a silicon diode therefore I will replace it with a 0 0.7 volt source ok and the convention of replacing a diode is like this if I have a PN junction diode like this let's say it has a built-in potential of 0.7 i will replace it with a voltage source of equivalent to its built-in potential the positive terminal of that voltage source will be in the p side of the pn junction diode and the negative terminal will be in the n side of the pn junction diode okay so if i replace this diode with a 0.7 volt source the positive terminal will be at this side and the negative terminal will be at this side ok so for that our circuit will look like this this will be our circuit configuration ok this is when the input voltage is at negative half cycle during negative half cycle our input voltage will maintain a constant voltage difference of minus 20 volt across this terminal and this terminal as I have changed the polarity of the terminals therefore I will put a positive value of the voltage which indicates the voltage difference will be minus 20 volt be between these two terminals now what will be the output voltage in this case see the output is taken across this terminal and this terminal that means we are taking the output across a series connection of a 5 volt source and a 0 0.7 volt source which are connected in opposite direction let's say if i consider the case of 0 0.7 volt and replace this 5 volt with a short circuit like this okay that means this voltage source is currently inactive you will see the 0 0.7 volt will give us a voltage difference of minus 0 0.7 volt 
across this and this terminal because its negative terminal is in upward direction and the positive terminal is in downward direction whereas we consider the positive output voltage across this terminal and the negative output voltage from this terminal okay so i will get a voltage of minus 0.7 if i consider the effect of this 0.7 volt similarly i will consider the case of this 5 volt source in that case i will consider this 7 volt source inactive you see this 5 volt will give rise a voltage difference of 5 volt across these two terminals because positive terminal is connected with the positive side of the output voltage and negative terminal is connected with the negative side of the output voltage therefore our output voltage should be equal to plus 5 resultant voltage will be equal to 4.3 volt okay so i can say when input voltage will be at equal to minus 20 volt our output voltage will be equal to 4.3 during the forward bias of the diode our capacitor of 10 microfarad will get charged now let me show you how the capacitor stores its voltage see as this is positive terminal and this is negative ter terminal our charging current should flow like this and let's say that current is charging current i c you will see this ic seems entering from this direction and leaving this capacitor from this direction therefore this terminal will be should be positive and, and this terminal should be negative and the capacitor will store that charge as a voltage let's say v c now i will calculate this v c to calculate that i will apply k v l in the slope if i apply kvl to calculate vc at first i will encounter this input voltage and its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore our our input voltage will have minus sign minus 20 after that i will encounter this capacitor and its negative terminal first positive terminal later therefore its voltage will be plus vc after that i will encounter this 0.7 volt source and its negative terminal first positive terminal later therefore i will take its voltage as positive plus 0.7 after that i will encounter this 5 volt source and its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore its voltage sign will be negative minus 5 equal to 0 from which i can write our out capacitor voltage will be equal to 24.3 volt okay so during negative half cycle our output voltage will be equal to 4.3 volt and the capacitor will store a voltage of 24.3 volt across it with the negative terminal at left side and positive terminal at right side the value of this vc will be equal to 24.3 now consider the positive half cycle of the input voltage during positive half cycle this input voltage will maintain a constant voltage of 20 volt between these two terminal and this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative you will see this positive terminal will be connected with the n side of the diode and the negative terminal will be connected with the p side of the diode that means our during positive half cycle our our diode will be in reverse bias so when a diode is in reverse bias we can replace that diode with an open circuit if i replace this diode with an open circuit that means i can remove this diode from our branch see i have removed the diode from our branch therefore you will see this branch gets open circuited so i will disconnect this 5 volt source from our circuit that means i can remove this entire branch from our network and rest of the circuit will look like this okay and you will see the capacitor stores voltage vc equal to 24.3 volt across its two terminals so during positive half cycle the diode will be in reverse bias so it is replaced by open circuit in this half cycle our capacitor will discharge its voltage through rl see capacitor stores a voltage of 24.3 volt across it therefore it will discharge its voltage in this 
direction okay and as this is our positive half cycle so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative and see if i take the positive sign of the voltage i will see bit across these two terminal i will get a voltage difference of 20 volt so when our input will be at 20 volt now let me apply kvl in this circuit to calculate the output voltage this terminal of the output voltage will be positive and this terminal of the output voltage will be negative from this term if i apply kvl in this circuit i will apply kvl in this circuit at first i will encounter this negative terminal after that this positive terminal therefore our voltage should be plus 20 volt after that i will encounter this vc and its negative terminal first and positive terminal later therefore its voltage will be positive plus vc which is equal to 24.3 volt after that i will encounter this output voltage and its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore i will take the output voltage as negative minus vo will be equal to zero from which i can write our vo will be equal to 44.3 volt our output voltage is 44.3 volt when our out input voltage is at minus 20 volt see the function of a clamper circuit is to shift the dc level of the input voltage see in the input voltage this was our dc level our dc level was at level of 0 volt now you will see the positive peak value is 20 volt greater than the dc level and the negative peak is 20 volt smaller than the dc level as as clamper circuit does not change the wave shape and the peak to peak value of the applied signal therefore i can calculate our new dc level will be equal to see our peak value of the output voltage will be at 44.3 and our dc level is 20 volt away from this voltage so i can find it like this 44.3 minus 20 therefore it will be at 24.3 volt if calculated from positive peak or if i calculate it from negative peak it will be 20 volt greater than the negative peak 4.3 plus 20 which will also give us the same value 24.3 volt you see during negative half cycle our output voltage will be at 4.3 during positive half cycle our output voltage will be at 44.3 okay now if i calculate the dc level you will see this is our peak value and our dc level will be 20 volt smaller than this 44.3 or 20 volt greater than from this 4.3 which will be at 24.3 see from this point to this point we have a 20 volt distance and from this point to this point we have another 20 volt distance so peak to peak value will be equal to 44.3 minus 4.3 peak to peak which is equal to 40 volt as our as like our original signal now i will reproduce the sinusoidal output voltage from this waveform see our sinusoidal input voltage will go in positive maximum at the midpoint of this half cycle therefore i can expect our sinusoidal voltage will have maximum value of 44.3 at this instant and our sinusoidal voltage goes to negative maximum at the midpoint of this let's say t2 half cycle therefore i can expect that our output voltage will go in negative maximum at this point because at this point our input voltage will be at minus 20 volt and when our input voltage will be at minus 20 volt our output voltage will be at 4.3 volt now if i draw the sinusoidal waveform from this square waveform i will get a waveform like this okay if i draw the negative cycle i will get a waveform like this sorry and this will repeat for the upcoming half cycles okay so this will be our desired output voltage now if i show you the corresponding input and output voltage you will see 
this will be our applied input voltage with DC level at 0 volt during the positive peak VI equal to 20 volt our output voltage will be at 44.3 volt and during the input voltage is at minus 20 volt our output voltage will be at 4.3 volt and our DC level will be at 24.3 volt now let me run the simulation to validate my circuit analysis at the input I am applying a sinusoidal voltage 20 volt peak to peak 20 volt positive peak and minus 20 volt negative peak with 1 kilohertz frequency uh, I will indicate the input waveform with red line and our output waveform with green line ok see See our channel A and channel B have same time per division and same time scale. Okay, the red waveform is our input waveform. See when this input voltage is at 19.994, that means around 20 volt. Our output voltage is equal to 44.124, which I have shown you around. 44.3 volt okay and during the negative peak that means minus 20 volt our see minus 20 volt around minus 20 volt our output voltage was minus our output voltage was equal to 4.3 volt i have shown you but here it is 4.255 volt that means my analysis is nearly accurate okay that's it thank you